are those really alien megastructures? How astronomers plan to investigate? And this is on the KIC 8462852. Uh, this is coming from Science Dump. This is actually coming from Popular Science. Popular Science does not want to actually come out and say, oh, yeah, there's alien civilizations. And, you know, people are actually investigating. And then they'll kind of say it at the end, but we'll see what they're saying. Sky Watchers noticed um, something bizarre. They're referencing the Kepler 1480 light year away, 8462852. And they go into the rant about, yay, could be. Perhaps a star's light is being blocked by huge pieces of alien architecture. They got they got to break them in. So we're getting something good from Andrew uh, Simeon, a scientist with Berkeley SETI Center. Uh, mysterious objects are blocking up to 20% of the starlight, which is much more uh, than Jupiter-sized planet would block. And basically, Semyon and two other astronomers uh, have suggested an alternative explanation that may be less likely than comets. Well, you know what? Here's a situation that I don't really care about. One, people are intrigued about this, and they haven't been intrigued about other things. And I've seen this equation, and there are ways to basically cancel out this equation. The Drake equation, ladies and gentlemen, leads to a false positive. They talk about the Dyson Spears have already done this. Looking for evidence. They used a green bank or bank telescope in West Virginia and they'll be competing with other scientists who want to use giant telescopes to answer other research questions. Uh, if their application is selected next year the team will point the telescope 100 meter dish toward KIC 8462852 and scan radio signals for emitting that region. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you. I know I didn't read everything, but that part's important. I don't know whether or not they can just randomly do it or if they need to be told to do it, but, uh, I think it has to do with interference and other things, but uh, basically, uh, they could find something. You don't know. I don't know. I think the government already knows, and they're, that's why I did that one on the Air Force, giving the a SETI permission to pick up their ET stuff, or at least their civilian ET stuff. So that's what that's about. So that's popular science. Um... That's coming from Science Dump, digging deeper into the behavior of KIC 8462852. And basically it said that the mere suggesting of finding extraterrestrial civilizations, getting the juices flowing in the brains here at Science Dump HQ, wherever that is, they said they're roughly 1,500 year, light years away. Uh, Alright, so Kepler was launched in 2009. It was built specifically to observe patches of space for prolonged periods of time to pick out tiny fluctuations of brightness uh, of stars within its field of view, and basically that's how they picked up Kepler. And here's basically the situation with KIC 4 six two eight five two uh bjd all right so this is this is the time here uh i'm looking here nope okay so maybe to say here so these numbers spike and erratic distribute distribution are not likely caused by planets passing in front of the star what does that explain? Uh, candidates include a disk of stellar debris surrounding the star, which, with large chunks passing between it, causing irregular fluctuations. You get the idea. But KIC 8462852 is at least a mature star, or whatever it is. And it is 1.5 times the mass of the sun. 
Um, I'm not certain if they're watching the the star or what's in front of it. Obviously, it's what's in front of it or what they believe to be near it. And I've been doing a lot of kind of minor research on this, and I, I, I've kind of just been noticing some weird things and some of the science fiction in the 90s, how it was mentioning this, you know. Obviously, you know, science fiction mentions all science fiction, but how they were basically saying about the ring around different planets and everything, and how, um, obviously, you know, Star Wars with the Death Star was a Dyson Sphere of its own, um, but it had its own power supply, etc. So, um, and Star Trek, I believe, had one where they had a giant spear that was like 10,000 times the size of a planet, yet they blew it up or something. I don't know. Anyway, so they're getting more information on this, and I would put this probably, yeah, see, they mentioned Star Trek in that episode, and definitely, or generally. Um, and I would just keep watching this. I've already done one. This is like an update. So thank you.